today I am going to be showing you two things, how to unpack and repack your violin or viola. It's very similar for either one. So let's start with unpacking your violin. When you unpack your instrument, make sure that it is on a stable flat surface like a table or on the floor. Never put it on your lap to open it or on a chair or somewhere where it's going to fall once the case is open. So first off, make sure your case is right side up. I have some stickers on my case to show me that, it's the, that this is the top so my violin won't fall out once I open it. So first I'm going to open my case. And here you can see I have my violin, my bow, my shoulder rest, and I have a little pouch for any extra things that I might need. So I'm going to carefully undo the velcro that's holding my violin in place. So I'll take it out. And I'm going to put my violin on its side. This can be very dangerous, so be very careful with it. And take out my shoulder rest. Putting on a shoulder rest is not that hard. Always make sure if you have this type of shoulder rest that the fat end is on the same side as your chin rest. So I'll put that on my violin. If you have a sponge with rubber bands, then the fat side goes on the side of your violin without a chin rest. So they're backwards. You have a sponge, a foam sponge, the skinny end goes on this side, the fat end goes on this side. If you have a shoulder rest, fat end goes on this side, skinny end on this side. Once you take your bow out, you should tighten it by turning the nut at the bottom or the screw. You turn it clockwise. So you take your right hand if you're right, right handed and screw it down towards the floor. Once you have that done, you can set that aside and you may need to rosin your bow. Um, you don't need to rosin your bow every time you play. Depending on how much you play, you should probably rosin it every couple days. If you play it a lot, you might need to rosin it every day, but um, be careful not to put too much rosin on because that is not good for the bow, just like not having enough rosin is not good. So I'm going to go ahead and rosin my bow. I have my rosin here. So when you rosin your bow, make sure that you use long swipes on the rosin and make sure you don't touch the hair with your fingers. So you go back and forth. And if it needs a little extra on the bottom, you can put a little extra in the top. There. And you should be ready to play. Now, oops, let's put our violins away. First thing I'm going to do is loosen my bow very important. If you do not loosen your bow, you could break it. If you look closely at your bow, it should be curved slightly. So it's not a straight stick. It's curved down in the middle. If you do not loosen your bow, it will become straight and that is not a good thing. It will make it harder to play and it will just ruin your bow. So loosen your bow then put it carefully, the tip goes, if you're looking at your case, it goes to your left. It goes in, tip first, your frog is over here, and you can close it. Next, for our violins, I'm going to take this cloth, and we're going to clean our violins. So, all that rosin that we put on our bow comes off onto your strings. We have to clean that off before we put the violin away. I'm going to take a soft cloth. You might have a special violin cloth. 
Uh, it can't be a normal washcloth, it has to be a really soft material. I'm going to just rough down my strings very carefully and I'm going to wipe down underneath as well so that there's no rosin dust on it. Next, I'm going to take off my shoulder rest or sponge depending on what you have. Put that away. Then I'm going to put my instrument in the case. scroll always points to your left. Then I'm going to strap it in carefully and then close it. Before you close it, make sure that you turned the little notch over here so your bow will not fall out. That has happened to me before and it's not very good for your instrument. So I made sure that the notch was turned and I'm going to close my case and latch it. And I'm done. Make sure that you latch or zip your case up securely. It, otherwise, when you come back to play the next time, you might not remember that you didn't close it all the way. And then if you pick up the handle, your case can open and your violin will fall on the ground and will most likely be broken. I hope you found some helpful tips in this video. Thank you for watching it. Um, have a great time playing.